today I will be making a long needed dust shoe for the CNC router and this is the prototype uh, I've made. It's uh, made out of uh, MDF uh, fiberboard 6 mm and I have uh, glued in five magnets here uh, and you have a counterpart here made out of polycarbonate with the same five magnets and this would be the stationary piece sitting on the gantry and uh, this piece is the one you can easily take on and off in order to change speed and so on. And then there's a 3D printed piece here uh, where you can connect the uh, vacuum. I have used cutting foam uh, as the skirt uh, and it's been stapled on uh, around the side here. If we go to SketchUp, uh, here's the model which you can find on the 3D warehouse and you can see the MDF part with the pockets uh, here the polycarbonate piece and the 3D printed piece and then this is the bracket that will hold the Crest 1050 uh, spindle. Let's uh, see some uh, few shots uh, from the manufacturing process uh, where I use the uh, prototype as the dust collector and I'm making uh, four uh, sets in one go. So here are the uh, MDFs uh, for the dust shoe that I have made, so I'll make four. Uh, and the idea is to make different heights of cutting foam. Yeah, so this is the uh, completed series of four dust shoes, starting with one which is uh, a total of 25 millimeter, and then adding 10 millimeter all the way up to 55 millimeter. Uh, but in all cases, the slots. Oh, the slits here are like only 20 mm and the idea is of course that you will start somewhere up and then it will go down and I think it will not bend too much. Yeah, so now we are ready for the first test of the uh, of the dust shoe. I have some oak here and an 8 inch bit. I think it worked well. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, dust left as this, but I guess this not. It's for the sandpaper to take. I think it worked very nice, so I'm happy. <laughs> 